a DRM-enabled build of Odin can be used to automatically assign licenses to users. If additional licenses are needed, this will be visible on the target machine, but Odin will continue to function under all circumstances. In order for the DRM system to work, you will need to download and import a custom build of Odin for your organization. This build is tied to your organization and should not be distributed outside of your organization, as this will allow others to generate claims on the behalf of your organization. To download, navigate to odinspector.com forward slash download and select your organization. Then import Odin into your project and commit to your source control system. Any new machines working with Odin within that project will be prompted to activate Odin via a license activation pop-up. This pop-up will give users four options. Use the auto claim system, log in with their username, use a specific license key, or that their machine does not use Odin. If the user chooses auto claim, a machine claim will be generated and show up on the Odin portal. If no license is available, a keyless claim will be created and the user will still be able to use Odin. If the user has been invited to the organization via their email, such that they have an online account, which is a member of the organization, they can log into their account and activate Odin on the machine. If the account already has a license assigned, that license will be used to generate a machine claim. Otherwise, an available license will be used. If no license is available, a keyless claim will be generated. Choosing the activation key option will allow users to directly enter a license key to use with the machine. If the key has been used to activate two or more machines, the claim will be rejected. Otherwise, a machine claim will be created with the license key. If the user will not be making use of any part of Odin, such as an artist simply opening the project to import or configure art assets, they can choose the option of not using Odin. In this case, Odin will consider itself to be deactivated on that machine. Odin will still be fully functional on this machine, but a warning will be displayed as well as a prompt to activate Odin if the user begins making use of Odin. When a machine has activated a license, you'll be able to see that license is now in use on the website. You can also click on the license itself to see a history of all machines and users that have been using that license, as well as the last time it was in use. This can help you track whether you have any activated licenses that are not in use.